Stampin' with Amore and today I have a card tutorial to share with you and this is a watercolor technique card and I believe I saw a similar technique on um, either YouTube or Pinterest and I loved it I thought it really was um, pretty so I decided to kind of change it up on my own I'm doing it a little bit different but um, the basic technique is similar um, to what I saw. So this is using our Rooted in Nature. I love this stamp set. It's a double stamp set. This is the one that um, is similar to Lovely as a Tree. It can work hand in hand with Lovely as a Tree. It's super pretty. I am using this leaf right here and then this long leaf here. And I am using watercolor paper for this. Um, I haven't tried it on regular paper, but the watercolor paper gives it a really beautiful tick, um, a look to it. So I'm going to use watercolor paper. I did this one in Bermuda Bay, this one in Berry Burst, and this one in um, Ma uh, Mango Melody, one of our new colors. So uh, today, this time I'm going to do it in the Call Me Clover because I thought the green would be perfect for the leaves and stuff. So let's get started with it it's really a pretty technique and you're going to want to try it so you'll need a basic whisper white card um, and it's five and a half by four and a quarter then i'm using call me clover for this one so you'll need your mat piece to be five and three eighths by four and one eighth and then for the watercolor paper you're going to need a piece five and a quarter by four all right, so this is kind of a little bit of a messy technique, but it's really fun to do. So I'm going to use my um, Call Me Clover, and I'm trying to open this like the other one, <laughs> I can't. I keep forgetting these are new. So I'm using one of our sponges. Now these sponges, they come in, it's a big round piece like that, and this all goes together. And then I cut it in fours because I don't need that big huge piece. So I'm just using the end of this one. And I'm just going to dab it on here. And we are going to um, start just in circles rubbing it all over our watercolor paper. And I'm going to do it the darkest on the top. but it doesn't matter um, it's gonna all blend together and the trick in um, doing this is just use a really light touch when you're sponging it took me a long time to figure that out because I was getting like blotches and it, on this technique it doesn't really matter if you have blotches or not um, but if you're ever gonna want to do um, some blending with your sponge just remember that so I'm kind of going around the edges a little bit darker because I just liked it a little bit darker around the edges all right so we're just gonna leave it like that I'm gonna add just a hair more at the top and it was um, the technique I saw was done quite a bit different here they used like um, different colors, but I'm used sticking with one color. And then you're going to need a little cup of water, and I'm just going to dip it in here and then sponge that off. And use the same sponge, and then you're just going to wipe down. And then you're gonna, I, wa I wiped across because I just like the way it looked better. It gives it more texture. And then we are going to dry this piece. Now you can sit and wait for it to dry or you can be impatient like me and use your heat tool to dry it. So I'm going to just use the heat tool. Okay, can you see that it's all dry now? And a trick to keeping it flat is if it starts to curl, start heating it in the center. So it's a little trick. It'll help flatten it out. Now we're going to use our two leaves and I'm going to use the same Call Me Clover and we're just going to start stamping this like a frame around this 
peas. And I'm going to do some embossing also. We're going to emboss the sentiment and some other of the other leaves. And then I'm going to fill this in with this other leaf here. I like the green. It is pretty. I love this Call Me Clover. It's super pretty. My new favorite, one of my new favorite, is the Granny Apple Green. I almost did the Granny Apple Green, but I changed my mind at the last minute. Okay, so I'm going to close this up, and I'm going to clean my stamp off with my chamois here. This is our new cham um, chamois, and if you do not have one of these, you definitely need it. It is the Simply Chamois, and it cleans these off so good, and you don't have to keep fooling. This does look ugly, but it'll clean, um, it'll rinse off, and you keep this damp. That's why I have it in this little, this is one of our Stampin' Up! cases, and so I keep it in there to keep it moist, and then after you stamp with it for the day, then just go ahead and rinse it, and then reuse it but it's not gonna it's gonna stain but it's all right so now we're gonna take that smaller leaf again and I'm gonna stamp this kind of over the that other one. Oh, and I forgot to use my my buddy here go around that one leaf And of course, you're not going to see it right now because it's the Versa mark. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Hopefully, I'm going to get this straight for this video because it is a little bit hard for me to um, put my head over it in the video. So we're going to center that. Stamp that. I'm going to grab some of my white emboss and we're going to emboss that I just got a new one so I haven't emptied it yet into this bucket I think I did okay on the sentiment and then I am once again gonna heat that use my heat tool here and we're gonna heat it okay so we have that all embossed isn't that pretty I just love that and I love the embossing. I, I missed a part, so I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. I don't want to lose those leaves. Okay, there we go. There were a couple leaves right here, and I didn't want to mess them up. So isn't that pretty? And then we're going to go ahead and adhere that. I'm using, use either tear and tape. Use something strong, because this is watercolor paper. And that's why I love this Fast Fuse for stuff like this. But when this runs out, I'm going to be having to use my tear and tape. So I'm going to mat it on this Call Me Clover piece here. And then this is pretty thick, so I'm going to go ahead again and use the Fast Fuse. I just don't want it to fall off the card, especially if I'm sending it to somebody. And then we're going to attach this to the card front. Isn't that super pretty? I just love these, and I thought it was a really, really cute um, technique. Okay, and then I'm going to use some of our pearls here. These are the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. 
And I am going to use, I think I'm going to use the green ones here. I'm not exactly sure which green this is. It may be Call Me Clover. I'm going to put a couple down here. And then a few at the top. And that is it. Isn't that super pretty? I love this technique and I think you're going to really like it too. So here's all four that I created. So I hope you enjoyed the technique. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop from my blog. I hope you all have a blessed day and I will catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye.